Hello and welcome to Film Companion South. In this episode, we're going to be talking about Irul, which has Fahad Fasil, Sobin Shahir, and Darshana Rajendran, a mouth-watering cast. The film is on Netflix. It's directed by Nasif Yusuf Izzuddin, and it's a serial killer thriller, but with a difference. Now, what happens in a typical serial killer thriller is that there is a serial killer on, a, on the rampage and he's killing a bunch of people and there is a cop on the trail usually and there's a part where we usually get to know the motives about why this person became a serial killer thriller. But this plays out differently. It's a what-if scenario that I'm not going to kill for you because uh, the whole film depends on that. I mean, the way this film has reinvented the serial killer thriller in a kind of a mystifying way. Now, Sabin Shahid plays a writer named Alex. He has written a novel called Irul in Malayalam. Irul is a first darkness and the very first scene sees him waking up from his sleep with a nightmare, which is of course a kind of darkness of the soul. And guess what? The book that he's written is about a serial killer. Now, Dashina Rajendran plays Archana. She's the girlfriend and uh, She's always addicted to a phone because she's a lawyer and she keeps getting calls. So these two decide, Alex and Archana, they decide that, listen, we've got to get away for a while now. No phones, no internet, no nothing, just a weekend getaway. And this is when some of the dialogues that are very carefully written come to play. For example, somebody says, I have been planning this for a while now. Now, during this trip, the surprise trip for Archana planned by Alex, the two run into the character played by Fahad Fasil. Now, who is he is another mystery in the movie. Now, Irul has a long setup. It's just one and a half hours, but it feels like it's much longer. I kept waiting for the twists and the turns that usually inform the serial killer thriller. And I realized intellectually that that's what these guys are trying to break. But at the same time, there's something very unsatisfactory about the movie because there's too much talk and character development that feels underwhelming because these characters ultimately do not end up being as well developed as we would like them to be. So Irul ends up feeling like an intellectual exercise, like uh, as though someone tore off a chapter from a book and you read just that one chapter without the rest of the novel in place. Again, maybe that is the intention, maybe that is what this whole thing is to break the model of the serial killer thriller but somehow it didn't quite work for me. Or maybe it's just the fact that with this cast, you expected a lot more. So that's it about Irul. This film is playing on Netflix right now. If you like this video, do subscribe to Film Companion South and see you soon at the movies.